Well, here's the latest project I've been working on. It's a 1947 Zenith Transoceanic HG005Y. Uh, this is the second variation of the AG005 that uh, Zenith produced uh, following World War II when they were allowed to start making radios again for the civilians and not, not the military. Here's a picture of the front. Feels like it's a 20 pound portable radio. Here's an antenna for the broadcast band. Got a little compartment down here that has the owner's manual in it. Flip around, show you. Back opens up. We've got a spot down here where the battery could go. I'm going to build a battery for it. It'll take nine, I'm sorry, ten nine volts in series for the uh, 90 volt uh, B supply and an A battery of 7 D cells in series to get 10, 10 volts for the filaments. Uh, when I got it, the only thing that would work is the rectifier over here would light up. Everything else was dead. Every resistor or capacitor in this radio has been replaced as well as some of the wire insulated, rubber insulated wiring on the side over here where it gets warm because of the rectifier too. The uh, rubber insulation likes to dry out and flake off to where there's nothing but wear wire. First IF transformer had a uh, bad solder connection to the tube over here. Once that was taken care of and fired right up. Got a lot of help from the guys over at antiqueradios.com uh, over on the forums. Um, Nope, I think it's the third radio they've helped me out with, but uh, nope, they're good for help over there. Here's a cable that allows you to pull off the broadcast band antenna on the front, so you could suction cup it. There's two suction cups, so you could suction cup it to the window of the train or the airplane you happen to be on, so you can get AM reception. There's also a antenna for shortwave. It's in the back here. A zenith wave magnet. You can suction cup it to the window of the airplane or the train to get reception when you are traveling. Imagine TSA wouldn't let you do that today. <clears throat> nope, you'd put you'd suction cup the antenna to the window and plug this into the back of the radio here and it would give you give you an AM antenna. So nope, here's your bezel, you've got your band switches over here, your broadcast, which is today's AM, 16 meter, 19 meter, 23 meter, 31 meter, and 49 meter shortwave. So that's get on broadcast. Let's see if we can pull in tonight. And we think that the kind of poisonous rhetoric that you'd expect at your local campus. Got 610 out of Columbus. There's 6.50 a.m. WSM out of Nashville, Tennessee. 700 WLW out of Cincinnati. AM 740 out of Toronto, Canada. I can usually get 8.20 a.m. out of WSU in Columbus. I've got my transmitter going, so... There's a transmitter I've got going hooked up to uh, iTunes. Buttons on the bottom are for the tone organ, which allows you to change the... Wave rod antenna is about six foot long. Maybe not that tall, but it's a short wave. Let's see if we can pull in on short wave bands tonight.
nothing too exciting there. Seems pretty quiet. Saludas, que se decidieron a poner en marcha un negocio partiendo de una sencilla idea inicial. Spanish speaking station from somewhere. NHK ワールドラジオ日本 NHK の国際放送です Yeah. 